All right. Uh, good afternoon again, Ms. Crumling here. We are here today with Ms. Deck. She is one of the Whitman Middle School school counselors. Um, so she's going to help us to answer some questions that you all had had on the survey that I gave you uh, this week during your counseling lesson. Um, and there'll be a chance for you all also to put some questions in the chat if you have any questions um, for her. Um, I think there's about 11 or 10 to 11 questions that majority of you all had asked. So uh, we'll go over those first, and then you'll have the opportunity to be able to raise your hand and ask specific questions about Whitman um, or any questions that were not covered. Uh, we're going to also open the chat. Um, please keep the chat focused on whatever the question is. So if you have a reaction or something like that throughout, she may ask um, if you understand what's going on, if you have any questions please put it in the chat. Um, the audio feature is not open um, just yet. So Ms. Deck, I'm going to turn it over to you um, and you can get started however um, well you get started. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I am really excited to talk to you all about middle school. Um, I do have a couple of things I want to say before I get started, though. Um, of course, we are in a virtual setting, and this is different than actually being in the building. So most of the information that I give you will be in reference to the virtual setting. Um, the things that I do remember about actually being in the school, I will give you that information, but just know that it could change. All right. So um, I just I want everybody to kind of have that in mind when we go through the questions. Um, also, every now and again, I'll ask if that makes sense, if you understand, and I'll ask for a thumbs up um, in the chat. So just participate so that I know that you're getting the information that I'm giving you. Okay? All right. So the first question is, oh, and once again, my name is Ms. Deck, um, one of the counselors at um, Whitman Middle School. So Deck, like a deck of cards. That's how you can remember my name. So what time does school start and end? So it's the same now that we're virtually as it was when we were in the building. It's from 7.30 to 2.15. Um, when we are at school, it's the same thing. The only difference is that you're expected to be in your seat um, in advisory or whatever your first period class is at 7.30. So you would usually trickle in between um, 7 and 7.15, um, but the only thing that we require right now that we're virtually is that you are logged into your classes at 7.30. All right, next slide. How many teachers will you have? So that depends. You will have seven classes for sure, right? Um, you will have seven classes, but we do have elective options, right? We have year-long electives and we have semester electives. So if you choose a semester class, you could um, have a teacher change at second semester. So I think it's more important to be focused on how many classes you're going to have versus how many teachers, but you will definitely have seven classes. How long is each class? Each class is 90 minutes. I know that sounds extremely long, <laughs> but they're blocks. So you have A and B days. Um, so you will not see um, all of your teachers every day. You'll see some teachers on A days and you'll see some teachers on B days. Um, but yes, your classes are 90 minutes. They're broken up. You get breaks. Um, so it, there's a flow to it, so don't be overwhelmed by the fact that it's 90 minutes. And how much time do I have between classes? So right now, virtually, you have 10 minutes in between classes. When you're in the building, you will have three to four minutes to get to your classes. Um, so that's the difference right now. So let me just give a thumbs up if what I'm saying is making any sense. Um, and also if there are any questions about any of the things that I just said. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. Great, 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 great. Yay. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. Any questions? 
Justin, stay on task. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go on. All right, how will I know where my classes are? So we are working on a video to kind of give you a virtual tour of the building um, so that you will see. But before you actually come to school, before we have to start classes again, you will definitely get a tour. So you will get a tour, you will, um, you know, have your schedule with you and you will, we will take you on a tour, usually with another student guide, so you can find where you're supposed to be. In the meantime, while we are not in the building, there is a video that we are trying to put together so that you know where the important things are, like the gym and the cafeteria and a hall, you know, and the different hallways. We have our hallways um, labeled by letter. How often do I get to change my class schedule? So once again, that depends. Um, you, if you choose a semester elective, we know that at least one time you're going to be choose, um, changing your class because <clears throat> when the semester changes, you will change your class. So when the semester ends, for example, um, next week is the end of first semester. And a lot of our students will get a new elective class. So at least one time, if you choose a semester elective, you will get to change your schedule. Um, let me think of some other questions that you might have about class schedules. So let's say you decided to take a, an advanced class and it is too much for you, um, you can get a class change then. But it's better to talk to your, your counselor sooner than later if you are in over your head. Um, and of course, if there's any like improper placement, we are happy to change your schedule then. All right. Um, if you have all good grades, should you take all honors classes? So this is my advice. If you've never taken honors classes before, um, you should take, and you want to try, you should take a class that you do well in. So any class that you have fours in consistently, like you get fours in that class all of the time, that would be a nice place to start. So maybe an English honors class, or maybe a science honors class. Um, the, the reason why I don't always um, think you should start out with math is because math, especially algebra, is a high school credit class, right? And so it counts. It will be on your transcript until you graduate from high school. So if you're just experimenting and trying out new things, math is not the place to start. Um, but I would definitely kind of take a look at, you know, your strengths and talk to your parents, and that's where you make the decision about what honors classes um, to take. Does that make sense? Thumbs up, guys. Okay. Perfect. Any questions about that? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, will we have lockers? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I have worked at Whitman for about eight years now, and in the last five, we have not used our lockers. So um, I cannot say for sure that you will not use your lockers when you come into the building, but I will tell you for the last five years, we have not. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, when is the expected time to go back to school? I do not know. Um, Roger, information changes daily. Um, we're watching the news and the school board, and so 
when we have the information, um, we will share it with you. But at this time, it is unclear. We do not know. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so this um, question doesn't really apply because you probably will not be using a locker. But if you are using your lockers and you um, forget your combination, somebody from the office, your counselor, and sometimes your teachers are able to help you. So there's always an adult in the building who can assist you. Um, Ms. Jack, I did want you to answer this question and I'll go back to the other um, ones in the chat. Okay. If we don't have lockers, what do we use? Okay, so you have your book bag. You have your book bag and um, we don't use a lot of textbooks. Um, so a lot of things are printed for you. So it's not like you have to carry around a lot of um, textbooks. We definitely um, promote the AVID way of doing things. So having one large binder that you can separate by subject to keep yourself organized. Um, and, and that's what you would use. Um, in terms of coats, you, you can put it in your, your book bag um, if it'll fit. But yes, you're expected to keep up with that. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot to carry around. But we, we will help you organize yourself so that, you know, you're not carrying around too many things. And we do have lockers definitely for our students who have instruments. You, um, students who have instruments can leave their, their instruments at school, and we have special locker, lockers for those. Okay. Okay, so I don't understand a question, Muhammad. Do you understand what he's asking, Ms. Crumbling? Um, I didn't see the question, but no. He said, yeah, but we might go back to school next year. Not so, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, what about an, band instruments? What band instruments can we play? So, we have strings, um, we have the brass band, um, and then we also have piano lab. Oh, and percussion ensemble. So we basically have all of the instruments covered in some way. Um, I'm not sure about guitar. That would be the only one that I have a question about. Okay, next question. So that brings us to our last question. So those are the only questions that um, you all had submitted uh, from Ms. Uh, Green's class, Ms. Bertoni's class, and Mr. Spence's class. I'm going to look in the chat, and I'll try to capture all the ones that you have. Um, and then in a moment, I'll allow you all to raise your hands. Um, so Justin, you asked, did you guys submit our classes? No, I have not submitted your classes yet, which you did the other day was just for me. Um, and I told you all next week or the week after, I'll be meeting with you all individually to be doing your um, class placement. So no. Um, Miriam asked, do, um, does high school have lockers? I have no clue, so. Do high schoolers use lockers? Ms. Deck, are you aware? Yeah. They, they will have lockers. Okay, so uh, there will be a time where you have lockers, guys. I mean, I guess they're cool, sure. Um, I think that your locker can just store a bunch of stuff, so just make sure you, that your backpack isn't super heavy with unnecessary things. Um, let me see some other questions. Um, yes, Roger, you will carry around your backpack, uh, book bag, whatever you call it, and also your coat or whatever you have, so. The schedule, somebody asked about memorizing the schedule. I wanted to... Um, speak to that. So <clears throat> if you use the AVID method, right, and you have one of those binders that have the see-through clear pocket, you can just put that in the front and your schedule is right there. But trust me, the students end up learning their schedule so much quicker than the adults. So you do it every single day and it will become second nature. I don't want you to worry too much about it. 
but there's you can put it right there in your binder. We give you time um, in the first couple of weeks of school when we're back in the building to find your way. You will not be penalized, but trust me, it will happen naturally. I don't want you to stress too much about um, remembering your schedule. Um, do we get to pick the level of challenge on each subject? So um, I think I spoke to that earlier. This is definitely a decision that you're going to make with your teachers and your parents. Um, if you are not in, if you don't have a, a rigorous curriculum right now, I don't know, do you guys still do like the pull out and give enrichment? But like if you're not um, taking like honors and advanced classes and everything right now, it is always my recommendation to start out slow. But yes, the choice is yours to take um, honors classes in your core subject. But I always back to work in this deck. Um, mm -hmm. I think Jocelyn had asked, and well, actually, Renus, I'm going to uh, also answer your question. To a point, yes, you can uh, do the level of your challenge in your subject. I know we have AAP students in here as well, so you all have the opportunity of going to Sandberg or Whitman. So at Sandberg, they do offer AAP classes, as well as honors classes, as well as general education classes. So yes, you can choose your um your the ch level of challenge. Um, I'm gonna go to Jocelyn. Okay, so can I just can I just speak to the advanced yeah. academic? Um, so for advanced academic students, yes, we have you can choose honors in every core subject. You can take a world language. We offer German, Spanish, and French, and of course you can um, play your instrument. So yes, you can take. We have those classes offered for our advanced academic students. Yes, so you definitely have the option of going to Whitman if you would like. Um, if your bus is late and your class already started, are you counted as late? No. Usually when the bus is late, they have a, uh, some type of walkie-talkie and they will let the school know that um, the bus is running late. There will be somebody to greet you at the front door to give you a pass to class and you will not be counted as tardy. The next question I see, um, is it mandatory to do band? It is not. It is a elective choice, so you can choose. Can you be denied um, to take honors classes? Um, no, we have open enrollment. However, if you get into a class and the teacher sees that you know, you may be in above your head that they will definitely reach out to your parents and to your counselor about placement. But classes were open in moment. All right. Um, how long are is the lunch time or break? 30 minutes. Lunch is 30 minutes. OK, so 30 minutes. Um, let's see what else. And Roger um, has his hand raised. I don't know if he can speak or not. But. Yeah, let me, I'm going to get to Roger in just one second. Um, so okay. Ms. Green, one of the teachers asked, can you speak to the expectations about participation and tardiness in middle school if they remain virtual next year? Okay. <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, it is important to show up for class um, because we have to be accountable for students. And so it is very important that you attend class. And if you are not attending, to let us know why. Um, and if you do not attend, someone will look for you, like your counselor and your administrator. We take attendance very seriously um, at some point during the year even home visits were happening. So attendance is very important because it's a accountability. We need to make sure that you're okay. We don't have any other way of doing that besides you showing up to class. So we don't take it lightly at all. Um, does attendance impact your grade? Only in terms of the fact that if you're not there, you can't get the material, right? So if you're not in the class, then you're not getting the material, so then you probably won't do well. I don't know if that is answering all of the questions, but let me know um, if there's something else that I need to clarify. 
Thank you. Um, and then, um, sorry, Ms. Deck, could you also go with, um, I know we're not in school, but I don't know if they will still do this, um, but I know they used to do like tardy sweeps. Could, could you give a quick overview of what a tardy sweep is for them? So a tardy sweep is um, in between classes or at any time, actually. Um, the administration, they have a time where they come on to the intercom and to the announcements and they say, teachers, lock your doors. And if you're in the hallway and you do not have a pass, then they will gather everyone up and have a conversation with you and usually call your parents. So it is important that if you are going to the bathroom or going anywhere, that you have a pass and that you're accounted for. Once again, it's the accountability piece. We need to make sure that we know where you're going and that you're being safe. All right, um, I'm gonna ask Roger, is this your question? Go ahead, Roger. Oh wait, do you have capability? Hold on. All right, go ahead, Roger, you can talk now. If I if I was to take French class, like the whole the whole year I'm in every day, every year I'm in middle school, will it take something off my high school? I understand your question. So the way that we do language in middle school is um, it's typically a two year program. So you will take, for instance, if you're interested in French, you would take um, French part A as a seventh grader and then French part B as an eighth grader. Once you've completed those two classes, you will have um, one credit for French. So that's the equivalent to a high school credit, world language credit. And so as a ninth grader, you could take French too. And so you would already have a, a high school credit. So I see question marks. Did I confuse you? Um, I'm actually going to close the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Y'all are like spamming it with the same question. So it's really confusing me. So give me one second. Um, one question I think is going to get over all of the people. Um, they're saying, are there any extracurricular activities such as soccer teams or basketball teams or things of that nature? So they're not teams. Um, into teams into our high school, but we do have um, like the intramural and the community basketball. So after school, we have a, a very uh, huge after school program and you can play sports there. Um, they have volleyball days, uh, basketball days, um, different days that they actually play sports. But in terms of teams, we do not have that at the middle school level. Um, you would have to like find a neighborhood league um, if you wanted to actually play on the team and then wait until high school. Okay, thank you. Um, Monica, go ahead. Um, so if we take piano classes, um, mm -hmm. will, will we have to get our own pianos or like? No, ma'am, the um, keyboards will be provided for you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Miriam? So, could you do this, like, like, do only, like, one language for a year, and in eighth grade, can you have a different language? <sighs> okay, so, kind of. So, if you came to us as an eighth grader, and did not have an opportunity to take part A of a language as a seventh grader, then we do have the option of Spanish and Spanish as a one-year program as an eighth grader. Other than that, we do recommend taking um, the languages that we have in the two parts so that you can get the um, high school credit. Also, if you decide that you wanna take part A, and you do not continue with part B, you do not get the credit for the class. Okay, so uh, is there German? There is. There's okay. German, French, and Spanish. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Melissa? 
Let's say you don't get enough votes. What would you do? I didn't hear the question. And hello. Uh, let's say you don't get enough credits. What would you do? How would you not get enough credits? So we're going to make sure that you have the classes that you need to um, be prepared for ninth grade. So do you mean like, what if you don't earn a high school credit? That's perfectly fine if you do not. Um, we highly encourage it as an IB middle school year, um, middle, middle year school, but you don't have to earn a high school credit, but you will have all of the credits that you need to be prepared for ninth grade. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay, great. Isaac? Uh, how many years is there in middle school? Whitman has seventh and eighth grade. Oh, it's only two years? Yes. Okay. All right, O'Neal? Um, will we have the same classes as people in a grade higher than us? There's, possi there's a possibility that you could have electives with eighth graders, but your core classes will only be with seventh graders. It just depends on the class, but your core classes, you will be with your same grade level. Lizzie? Um, so what's the difference between honors and AAP? I typed it out in the chat, girl. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, so do you still want me to answer or? <laughs> you, you could still answer if you have anything else. But I saw that question keep going, so I just thought to type it would be easy. I mean, in the honors classes, the pace is going to be um, quicker, of course. And there's going to be an expectation that you do more independent work and that you're a more independent learner. So those are some of the things that you should consider if you want an honors class. Um, I don't, I feel like there's something else you're, you're trying to ask and I just want to make sure that I'm answering it. Is, am I answering what you're, what you need to know or what you want to know? Yeah, that was what I was looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. I think some of our AAP students are trying to figure out if they want to go to Whitman or Sandberg and they want to make sure that the curriculum at Whitman will still offer them with the rigorous things they need as it would be at Sandberg. I think that's where their mind is. Absolutely. We're an IB school. Um, an IB school. We, we have a middle years program. We definitely promote um, rigor and um, we have some excellent teachers. So you can get what you need at Whitman <laughs> in terms of in terms of rigor and, and being challenged. And one of the you. things I always point out, the difference between Whitman and Sandberg, Whitman is smaller in size as in students than Sandberg. So if you don't want to be you know, a bunch of kids, it could be a smaller um, environment um, that you can be in. So it's up to you. But of course, um, whenever I get information about Sandberg, I'll definitely pass that along. If you choose and you're an AAP student, um, that you want to still go to Whitman later on, I will. we will still submit your um, courses that you want then. Okay, so don't worry about it now um, that some students have already been submitting their courses for Whitman. I'll still get it to you if you decide later on. All right, um, I am going to people that I haven't called on yet just to make sure everybody's hand is um, raised. Um, Amaya? Are there any AVID classes in Whitman? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we have a, a great AVID program. Um, I do believe Ms. Long is retiring this year. I'm not certain though. Um, but we have a great program um, and it is one that you can, if you are currently in AVID now, do you guys have it at the elementary school? We don't have it at our school. No. Okay. Um, but yes, you if you do not have um, the application, I can definitely get them to um, Ms. Crumbling, but we do have an AVID program, an awesome one, actually. 
Um, all of the students, just to let you know, um, I did ask your teachers to nominate students that they thought would be great for AVID. Um, also, some of you all put in the survey that you were interested in AVID. Um, I will be sending you the application on Tuesday. Um, so just check your email. You'll be getting the application on Tuesday. Uh, we are going to end at 2.40. Um, so I'm going to take um, these last four questions. Um, always, if you always have questions, you can always email me and I can get them to Ms. Deck and I'll get them back to you as well. Um, Justin. Um, my, um, huh? Yes, Ms. Deck. I said I could put my, um, is that not a good idea? I could put my email in the chat. Yes, that's fine. Um, okay. Justin. Um, I'm confused on what AVID is. Give me one second. I can't multitask, so just give me one minute. Okay, so it is an enrichment class, um, and it is a class that gives you um, skills to help you become a better student. So if you are already a motivated student, you have interest in um, going to college, then this class is going to help you be organized. It's going to help you with your study skills. It's going to help you with the way that you think, um, with higher level thinking. Um, so I would call AVID an enrichment class. It is advancement via individual determination. And so it really is um, something that has to come from within and you have to be self-motivated and then we give you tools to be a successful student. Um, if you stay with the program through um, high school, you will absolutely have a lot of success um, as a high school student and then a, a college student, if that's your choice. All right, thank you. Uh, Jackson? Um, is there going to be sports teams? We don't have teams. We have clubs. We have a very um, large, active after school um, program, and there are clubs that you can join to play sports, but in terms of an actual team, you would have to wait until high school or you could join a neighborhood team, like the neighborhood leagues. Okay. All right, these okay. are our final three questions. Venus? Um, this is a question from Ms. Crumbling. At the beginning of the uh, meeting, you mentioned a survey, and I'm not sure if this is just for Ms. Long's class that didn't get it, but I don't think we got the survey for this. You did not. So I did not do it with Ms. Long's class, Ms. Papa's class, or with Ms. Covington's class. So um, you're going to get a lesson whenever I talk about Sandberg, um, so don't worry about it. Whenever I'm talking about middle school with your class, um, it was for other classes. You didn't miss anything. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Miriam, go ahead. I, I have a question about middle school. Like, if if you have to, like, take a lot of, like, days off, can you, like, do your work, your, your work that bef before you're, the work that you need to do before you're going? So if you have to take a long trip, you can um, do a prearranged absence and and get work so you can pick up yeah so work. you can get like mm -hmm. you can get ex extra work and that that for example if like someone is gonna be gone for uh j january you can uh do the work do the work on on december right Yes, ma'am. If you have your trip arranged, you can do a prearranged absence and get your work and it will and not have um, a penalty. So you can arrange to get your work and turn it in if you have to have a long absence. Yes, you may. Because I have to next year about. Okay, that's fine. Just make sure that we know about it so that we can put everything in place so that you can get your work. All right, final question, Monica, go ahead. So if you're taking the piano classes, um, 
will you have to do it like the way um, the French classes are? Like, you have to take it for two years? No, ma'am. Uh, keyboarding or piano lab is a semester class. So you'll only be taking it for one semester. Language is the only thing, is the only program that we have like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, we want to thank Ms. Deck for spending her time with us this afternoon and sharing all about Whitman Middle School. Thank you for everybody that has participated and that has um, come on here. Hopefully you have learned something about Whitman Middle School. Hopefully it's an easier anxiety about your middle school transition. Um, I still will be working with students that are interested um, in going to Whitman um, with your classes over the next couple of weeks. Um, please share that survey with your parents that was sent to your email of the classes that you um, you wanted to take. Um, so if I can get some claps, some hoorays, some hurrahs, some thank yous to Miss Deck for her time, that would be greatly appreciated. You guys in the chat, I think it's open. Um, the chat is open. <laughs> I just wanted to like ease your, your anxiety. I promise you it is going to be okay. There are a ton of adults in the building willing to help you. We are excited to see you. We want you back in the building, so we will definitely be there to help you. So try not to stress too much. Just pay attention to what Ms. Crumbling is telling you. Make some smart choices. Discuss it with your parents, and we will see you in the new school year. Of course, right. I put information in the, um, in the chat. So if you have questions or your parents have questions, you can also email me directly. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. And I'll make this recording available to your teachers as well to put on their Google Classroom if you want to rewatch it. Um, you all are dismissed. Um, Roger, I see you have a question. Go ahead. How do we get detention? Say it one more time. Thank you. How do we, How do we get the attention? The what? He said detention. Oh. Um, let's just behave ourselves appropriately and not get detention, okay? So just as long as you are being respectful, kind, and a good student, um, you don't have to worry about that. Deal? Yeah, but what if one of our, what if one of our teachers, bro, they, they just doing too much and they give us detention for no reason? What if the student is doing too much? So let's, we got to evaluate ourselves first, okay, before we blame the teacher. But let's just avoid it. We're not going to do detention. Um, you you can do it. Okay, I believe in you, Roger. All right, everybody have a great Bye. afternoon, a great weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. Bye. Bye.